السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير وأشهد أن محمدًا عبد الله ورسوله اللهم صلِّ وسلِّم وبارِك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعه بإحسان إلى يوم الدين فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وخير الهدي هدي نبينا وحبيبنا وقائدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أيها المسلمون اعلموا أن الجنة حق وأن النار حق وأن الله يبعث من في القبور أما بعد يقول الله تعالى في القرآن الكريم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون أرسل الله سبحانه وتعالى تلاس في سورة آل عمران فالذين هاجروا وأخرجوا من ديارهم وأوذوا في سبيلي وقاتلوا وقتلوا لأكفرن عنهم سيئاتهم ولأدخلنهم جنات ولأدخلنهم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار ثوابا من عند الله Wallahu indahu husnu thawab. My dear brother and sister, I began by saying all praises, all gratitude, and all thanks belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we seek refuge in Allah from the sin that we commit and the faults within ourselves. Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide, no one could misguide. And whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leave astray, no one could guide. We bear witness there is no deity worthy to worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we bear witness indeed. Prophet Muhammad alayhi abdul wa aska salam is final and his last messenger. 
We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless Prophet Muhammad and his family and his companion and whoever follow him until the judgment day. Allahumma ameen. I shared with you a couple of verses from Surah Ali Imran, the first verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us. Oh, you believe, fear Allah as who should be feared and die not unless you are in the state of Islam. The second verse from Surah Ali Imran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who immigrated and who expelled from their homes and they were tortured in my way and fought and were killed. I shall certainly write off their bad deeds and shall certainly admit them into gardens beneath which river flow and a reward from Allah and Allah have the best reward. My dear brothers and sisters, before we start, please turn your phone off. Check your phone if it's on a vibrate. Just make sure there is no interruption for your brothers. And, just, and no one's supposed to use the phone at all. My dear brother and sister, today, it will, the khutbah, it will be about the crisis is still happening in Palestine and in Gaza. And inshallah, we're going to be talking about Sayyidina Musa and Pharaoh. What Sayyidina Musa went through. If you pay attention to the khutbah, you're going to find a lot of similarity what we are going through today. So please focus and let's see if we could learn something new today and also could put some tranquility in our hearts. My dear brother and sister, the Muslims today and the Arabs and the Palestinian Christian, the Orthodox Jews, they are more united than ever before. All of them, they are disagreeing what's happening. Even the people in Israel, in that country there, they a lot of disagreeing what is the government is doing. Not everyone is agreeing with them. And look today, all over the world, I'm, see, I'm sure you've seen it, and you're going to see it, and it's going on. There is a lot of people, hundreds, thousands, millions of people worldwide, very disappointed about the oppressor, what the oppressor is doing to Palestine. Very, very disgusting, at least I could say. And everyone is so upset and angry and worried what is going to happen tomorrow. My dear brothers and sisters, in a day like this, or the days we are going through, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us in Surah Al-Imran, بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واعتصموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا الله سبحانه وتعالى hold tight in the robe of Allah and do not be divided يا الله سمعنا وأطعنا oh we heard you your command يا الله and we are obedient to your order my dear brothers and sisters why Masjid al-Aqsa is so important to us as Muslims? Masjid al-Aqsa, the one is located in Jerusalem. Why is so important to us? I'm going to share some of those things with you. It was the second holy, sacred house of Allah built on earth during Prophet Muhammad alayhi abdul wasallam. Also, it was the first qibla for us as Muslims. We used to pray toward al-Masjid al-Aqsa. Also, my dear brother and sister, after Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he immigrated from Mecca to Medina, and then our qibla was a change to Al-Kaaba. Also, Masjid Al-Aqsa, my dear brother and sister, this is where Angel Jibreel took Prophet Muhammad from Mecca to Jerusalem. And this is where he led the prayer there, and behind him, Prophets such as Prophet Isa, Musa, Nuh, and so on. And also, Angel Jibreel took Prophet Muhammad to different levels of heaven. This is why, my dear brother and sister, is very important to us as Muslims. I would like to share with you Surah Al Isra, by the Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Subhan Alladhi Asra bi Abidihi Laylan min al Masjid al Haram ila al Masjid al Aqsa. الذي باركنا حوله لنريه من آياتنا 
إنه هو السميع البصير إنه هو السميع البصير Glory to Allah who took his servant Prophet Muhammad for a journey by night from the sacred mosque to the furthest mosque which we have blessed in order to show Prophet Muhammad our signs and Allah is all hearing and seeing why I'm emphasizing about that two word. My dear brother and sister, this is to put some tranquility in your heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He sees what is going on all over the world, especially in Palestine. And He hears what is going on. So rest assured. And also, I want to remind you, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Sayyidina Musa and Harun to Fir'aun, because he was going out of control, what did he tell him? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was telling Musa and Harun, I am with you. I see and I hear. So my dear brother and sister, why I'm emphasizing, I want you to put some tranquility in your heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees what is going on. He's running the world the way he wants it. So inshallah, victory will come soon from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brother and sister, also I would like to share with you the reward of different masajid. The reward that we, we do get from different masajid. The reward in praying in Masjid Al-Aqsa is 500 times different than any other masjid. When you pray in Masjid Al-Aqsa, the reward is 500 times. And also Masjid Al-Nabawi in Medina, it's 1,000 times. And also the reward in Masjid Al-Haram is 100,000 times. This is why these masajid are very, and, and the places is very important to us. My dear brother and sister, now let's talk about Musa and Pharaoh and see if it's related to what we are going through right now as I speak. Pharaoh, my dear, Pharaoh, the Pharaoh, my dear brother and sister, they were in Egypt and they were the superpower around that time. They have unmatched military power, Pharaoh. He have unmatched military power. He was a superpower. Egypt, at that time, the civilization in Egypt was very, very advanced. Economically, socially, scientifically, military, and politically. That's how strong Egypt when Pharaoh was there. My dear brother and sister, no one could challenge Pharaoh around that time because of the type of war equipment that he had. And he used the tactic divide and conquer. Pharaoh, he used divide and conquer. And this is what is happening in Gaza right now. And this is what is happening in Palestine and the Middle East. Divide and conquer. And this is what we are going through. Let me share with you from Surah Al-Qasas by the Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna Fir'aun ala fil ardi waja'ala ahlaha shi'a yastad'ifu ta'ifatan minhum yudabbihu abina'ahum wa yastahyi nisa'ahum innahu kana min al-mufsidin. That's Fir'aun. Surely Fir'aun exalted himself in the land and dividing the people apart and he was killing the, the, the boys the children and leaving the, the the female alive and he was dividing him to group this way he can control them that's what Fir'aun was doing and unfortunately that's what we're going through in palestine Fir'aun, my dear brother and sister he went as far and he used to say, Ana Rabbukum al -ala. I'm your highest Lord. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he decided to send Musa alayhi salam to put some light in his head, to get him out of the darkness that he lived. By the Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مُوسَى بِآيَاتِنَا وَسُلْطَانٍ مُبِينٍ 
إلى فرعون وهامان وقارون فقالوا ساحر كذاب Indeed, we send Musa with our signs to, to, and, and the proofs to who? To Pharaoh and Haman and Qarun. And they said he's a magician and he's a liar. They called him Musa. And who is Haman? Haman, my dear brother and sister, is the minister of Pharaoh. And Qarun, he used to be one of the people from Israelites. And then he was bribed, was given a lot of money from Pharaoh, and he went against his own people, and he went to the side of Pharaoh. Pharaoh and Haman and Qarun, they have enough equipment and, 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 and power. They could have killed everyone from Bani Israel, but they were benefiting from them. They were using them as a slave. And then my dear brother and sister, Pharaoh, he starts doing a propaganda among his people and saying they are liars and people cannot be trusted. And then he starts playing the game, he is the victim. Sounds familiar. They are, Pharaoh, he starts acting that he is the victim and his people are the victims. And let me share that with you from Surah الشعراء بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يريد أن يخرجكم من أرضكم بسحره فماذا تأمرون؟ He said he wants to drive us out of our land. That's what Pharaoh was saying to his people. And and he is a magician. What do you want me to do about it? What do you want me to do about it? So my dear brother and sister, he put the people and he divided them into concentration camp and like an open air prison, according to the Holy Quran and the Bible. And he start separating more and more. My dear brother and sister, Pharaoh and his follower, they start putting their arms together and they want to attack Musa and his follower. And let me share that with you from Surah Ghafir. By the name of Allah, the Most Gracious. وَقَالَ فِرْعَوْنَ ذَرُونِي أَقْتِلْ مُوسَى وَلْيَدْعُ رَبَّهُ إِنِّي أَخَافُ أَنْ يُبَدِّلَ دِينَكُمْ أَوْ أَنْ يُظْهِرَ فِي الْأَرْضِ الْفَسَادِ He decided to tell his people, let us start killing their leaders, their scholars, their imam. There, there, anyone have influence over them. This way he can break them down and then he separate them and cause fear. And, and he's the one who was full of corruption, my dear brother and sister. Pharaoh, he wanted to cause fear in, in the region. So what he decided to do, he wants to aim and try to kill Musa alayhi salam and, and so on. Pharaoh, my dear brother and sister, he decided to do a ground invasion. Pharaoh, he decided to do ground invasion. And he gathered his people and he started motivating them and tried to put the energy in them. And what did he say in Surah Al-Shu'ara? By the Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna ha'ula la shirzimatun qalilun wa innahum lana la ghaidun. These are indeed, they are only a little group of people. And they enrage us. They got us so angry. And we will be more caution this time. And we will take extra caution. We can clean them up and take care of them once for all. This is what was Pharaoh telling his people, my dear brother and sister. Sound very, very familiar that we are going through. And just like, based on what you hear, just like Pharaoh is saying, Egypt have the right to defend itself. From what? What did they do? Egypt have the right to defend itself. We have heard that many times, my dear brother and sister. Now, he decided to do ground invasion. He gathered his people, Pharaoh, and he started chasing 
Musa and his follower, and he, they got caught in, the, in between the Red Sea and behind them, Pharaoh and his army. Now I'm sure all of you know the story. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala awha ila Musa to strike the Red Sea in half. And he did and allowed Musa alayhi salam and his people and his followers to go through. And then once they went through, Pharaoh and his, and his people, they followed him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered the water to, pla to go down on them and they were all killed. I want you to pay attention here and I hope I, I pray that he put some tranquility in your heart again. My dear brother and sister, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not use to take care of Pharaoh and his follower a B, B2 bombers. Or he sets aircraft carrier in the Red Sea like I have right now. Or he used machine guns or nuclear weapon or bullets to take care of Pharaoh. What did he use? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he uses water to give life. And in this incident, he used the water to take life. He used water to take life. So my dear brother and sister, rest assured, Allah is seeing everything and he here. And I would like to also to remind you, remember COVID-19, which nearly 7 million people died worldwide. So about 6 million 900 and some people died from COVID-19. From a small tiny virus that you cannot see, you cannot touch, you cannot do anything to it at all. And then here it turned the whole world upside down. My dear brother and sister, Alhamdulillah, the masjid is overfilled. Please come forward. We have a lot of brothers sitting, standing outside. I would love to have everyone come in. So please come forward. So my dear brother and sister, rest assured, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do something. And also I would like to share with you another story. And I'm sure most of you know it. Which about, you know, you heard that they want to, to, to destroy Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. They think this is, might solve the issue. But let me tell you, remember Abraha Al-Habashi from Al-Yemen. He was the governor of that place. And he heard and seen that there is people going from through Yemen, going to north, which is going to Mecca, to the Kaaba. And he asked, what is this people going every year, passing us and they are going there? What is going on? And then he, the, <clears throat> he, was, he heard that they don't to do Hajj every year. He said, no, why don't I, he was a Christian, and he decided, well, why don't I build a big church for them and they can do Hajj here instead of going to Mecca every year. And then he took his army, elephants, and all the tools. And he also, he was a superpower around that time. And then he decided to go and destroy Al-Kaaba. And who's that? Abraha Al-Habashi. So when they took off and they started going toward Al-Kaaba, the lead elephant, his name is Mahmoud. He decided to stop. He's not going to go any further. They tried to push him to the right, push him to the left, to push him any direction forward. No way. And he refused to go forward. Only he can go back onto the side. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of course, awha in who he does not go any further. And then right after this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sinned a huge block of birds with its tiny stones from the hellfire and destroyed destroyed Abraha and his army with what was tiny stones no machine gun was used no nuclear weapon was used Allah is here my dear brother and sister let me share that with you from Surah Al-Fil Ba'da Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabil fil 
ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول Have you not seen how your Lord dealt with the owner of the elephant which is Abraham? Did he not make them the, their plot to go astray? And he sent against them bird of flocks, striking them with a stone from the hellfire, and he made them like an empty field of uh, stocks. So my dear brothers, I do hope and pray that he puts some tranquility in your heart. So our brother and sister in uh, Gaza and Palestine, they are suffering big time. And we need to remember them at least in our dua. We need to help them because we should be feeling, and I'm sure we are feeling near to what they are feeling. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tell us when we face this calamity to raise our hand and ask Allah and do dua. بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب فإني قريب أجيب دعوة الداعي الداعي إلى دعان فليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا بي لعلهم يرشدون and if my servant is directed to رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم and if my servant ask you about me tell them I am near I will respond to their call when they praying and asking me but they should obey me that's number one and have faith in me so my dear brother and sister we do have faith in allah and we have and, and then we are obedient to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we need to do a lot of dua also educate what we should do is also educate yourself about the root of the problem in palestine educate your children educate your neighbor and co-worker if you can I know it's a very sensitive subject, but if you can educate yourself, what is the root of the problem and where is the truth is. And also contact, write a letter to your congressman, to the president, to stop genocide, to stop killing these innocent people. We need to do that, at least to do this, write and make phone calls. And also write to the media, the media, Fox News, CNN, Channel 5, Channel 7, and tell them to be fair and just when they are broadcasting because they are not truthful about what they are showing us. And also another thing we should do is join peaceful rally, peaceful por uh, protest. You know, and, 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 and this is what we really need to do. And remember, this is our country. This is our home. We have to be very peaceful and let them know what is the Muslim is all about. My dear brother and sister, we cannot look away and we say we have nothing to do with it. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us in Surah Al-Anbiya, إِنَّ هَذِهِ أُمَّتُكُمْ أُمَّةً وَاحِدًا وَأَنَا رَبُّكُمْ فَعْبِدُونَ Surely you are one nation and I am your Lord, so worship me. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه إن الله هو الغفور الرحيم. الحمد لله. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وخادم الأنبياء سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله. My dear brother and sister, what we should do in a situation? And Allah سبحانه وتعالى he tells us in Surah Al-Baqarة بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة إن الله مع الصابرين. Or you believe, seek help through patience and prayer. Truly Allah with, with the patient. And say not, those who were killed in the way of Allah, they are dead, but they are alive and we do not know. And here is the test that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about. وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنْفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ Surely we will test you. 
with bit of fear and hunger and loss of wealth and life and fruits and give glad tidings to the patient. الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ who when calamity visit them, they say truly to Allah and truly we would belong to him and we shall return to him. My dear brother and sister, unfortunately, a lot of people are still dying. And what is so sad, what is so sad about this, there is a lot of people, they were born during, during the war and during the occupation. And they lived during the war and the occupation. And they died during the war and the occupation. This is the only thing they have seen, my dear brother and sister. So we need to do a lot of dua for them. And out of dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us in Surah Al-Baqarah, بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم, ربنا أفرغ علينا صبرا وثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين. O oh, our Lord, pure on us patient and set us firm, our feet, and make us victorious against the disbeliever. Allahumma ameen. So my dear brother and sister, do not run out of patience. Do not let the shaitan play with your mind and tell you, where is Allah in all this? Do not go in that dark street. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sees everything. Let me tell you something and please pay attention. Can you imagine if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intervened in every situation we have similar to this? You know what you're going to lose? You're going to lose that you're going to lose your freedom of a choice. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He intervene in every situation, you're going to lose a choice to, to, for freedom. We are different than the angels. The angels are ordered to do what they are being told. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a gift, which is the gift of a choice. Either you could go rob a bank, or you could go build a masjid, and it's up to you. This is the, the gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have given us. So please remember that as long as you live and, and, and be patient. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to deal with the crisis. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help them over there. Allahumma ameen. Uh, before I close, my dear brother and sister, there is two things I would like to share with you. I have a very important message I would like to share with everyone after the salah. So give me about five minutes, something very, very important I would like to share with you about your masjid. And, and so please be patient. A lot of you have not working today or half day. So please be patient with us. And also I'm gonna do a massive dua for Palestine and for us. So all I'm asking you to do, say the word, Amen, coming out of your heart, not out of your lips. You know, so, and, 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 and try to understand the dua. Uh, also, I was given a small piece of paper here. There is a sister, her name is Shakufa Afdal Kukar. She passed away. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless her and and yafu anha Allahumma ameen. Inna Allahu malaykal yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad. كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالم إنك حميد مجيد وقال ربكم ادعوني أستجب لكم اللهم انصر إخواننا المظلومين على أرض فلسطين اللهم انصر إخواننا المظلومين على أرض فلسطين O oh Allah grant victory to our oppressed brother and sister in Palestine اللهم حرر المسجد الأقصى إلى المسلمين Allahumma harrar al-masjid al-aqsa ila al-muslimin. O Allah, liberate masjid al-aqsa to the Muslim. Allahumma ansur ikhwanina al-murabitina ala ard Palestine. O Allah, help our brother and sister living in Palestine. Burahmitak ya arham al-rahameen with your mercy. Allahumma altuf bi ikhwanina fi kulli makan yudhkaru fihu ismuk. O Allah, be kind to our brother and sister. In the places where your name is, has been mentioned. Allahumma arham al-du'afa wal-fuqara wal-masakeen wal-aytam wal-nazheen wal-musharradeen wal-asra ya arham al-rahimeen. Oh Allah have mercy. Oh Allah have mercy on the weak and the poor and the needy and the orphan and the displaced 
and the homeless and the prisoner. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma ansur al-Islam al-Muslimin. Wa adhilla al-shirk wa al-mushrikin. Wa dammir a'da'ak a'da'a al-deen. Wa arfa' raya al-haq wa al-deen. Wa ansur ibadika al-mustad'afina fi kulli makan wa fi Falastin. Wa fi kulli makan ya arham al-rahimin. La namluk ya Allah illa al-du'a. يا الله لا نملك إلا الدعاء اللهم خفف آلامهم اللهم خفف آلامهم اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات اللهم اعف عنا وعن أبائنا وأمهاتنا من عذاب النار وتوفنا مع الأبرار يا منزل الماء من السماء يا مخرج النبات من الأرض يا من قلت للنار كوني بردا وسلاما على إبراهيم أعف عنا وارحمنا وتقبلنا بواسع رحمتك يا رحمن يا رحيم ربنا لا تذق قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا إننا سمعنا منادي ينادي للإيمان أن آمنوا بربكم فأمنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا يا مالك يوم الدين يا قوي يا عزيز يا رحمن يا رحيم أدخلنا الفردوس الأعلى بغير حساب مع الشهداء يا أرحم الراحمين أدخلنا الفردوس الأعلى بغير حساب مع الشهداء يا أرحم الراحمين عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان ويتأذ القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون أذكروا الله يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه زيدكم وأقم الصلاة Don't forget after salah please give me about three four minutes from your time
My dear brother and sister, Salamu Allah Alaikum wa Rahmatu Barakatuh. My name is Ahmad Radwan, and I'm here today in behalf of your masjid, your place, the house of Allah, King Fahdi Masjid. That's what we're going to be talking about. So please, I need your undivided attention for a couple of minutes. My dear brother and sister, I have mentioned before in, my, in the past talking to you here that the masjid fully rely on your help and donations. One time, when I, after I spoke, I have a brother approach me, he said, why do you ask and do, for money for the masjid? This masjid gets supported by, by Saudi, by King Fahd. My dear brother and sister, we need to understand, this masjid, yes, it was built by them. They built as a gift for you. And can you imagine, can you imagine this? If they build it, and also they support it for maintenance, what you gonna do? You're gonna do, you're gonna be watching the traffic, watching the hasanat going by? No, we need to be thankful, my dear brother and sister, that they participated of building the masjid for you. Now it is our responsibility to maintain the masjid, to take care of the masjid. Very, very important. We cannot look away and we say the other brother is going to do it. Because let me tell you, the, the expenses, your expenses in here, near $29,000 a month. $29,000 a month. And we do not get close to close that gap. So, and we, we do not do regular fundraising. So we have to appeal and come to you to ask you, please support your masjid, the house of Allah. So we need to do that. We cannot look away, my dear brother and sister. It's very, very important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells us in Surah At-Tawbah, by the Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, إِنَّمَا يَعْمُرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَأَقَامَ الصَّلَاةَ وَأَتَى الزَّكَاةِ وَلَمْ يَخْشَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ فَعَسَى أُولَٰئِكَ أَنْ يَكُونُوا مِنَ الْمُهْتَدِينَ In fact, the Masajid of Allah is built and maintained by those who believe, which is every one of us. And, and so my dear brother and sister, we cannot look away. So I'm here today asking each one of you, we need your help and support. Who is a generous brother could raise his hand and say, I'm going to donate for Sabilillah right now, $5,000. Wallahi, wallahi, your masjid needed and needs it really bad. We cannot deem, Allahu Akbar, takbir. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Is that 5,000? Is, is that 5,000? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and reward you and protect you. We have to black like a jannah. Please say ameen. See, please say ameen. Who can follow that generous brother for five? He did not take any minute. Immediately, he understood the needs. He understood the needs. So we need to follow this generous brother. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. Who else could follow? Brothers or sisters? Uh, how 5,000? Is that 5,000, sister? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. We have a sisters in there for 5,000. Are we going to watch the traffic and the hasanat going by? No. My dear brother and sister, we need to, to participate. We need to, your help. And, uh, let me tell you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us in Surah Ibrahim. قُلْ لِعْبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا يُقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَيُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَةً مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ يَوْمٍ لَا بَيْعٌ فِيهِ وَلَا خِلَالٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell my servant to establish uh, salah and spend of what we have given them secretly and publicly. Please pass him around to everyone and I just pass him around. Just pass this to, uh, to everyone and inshallah they will get to put the amount that they can. Any one of you can afford inshallah $3,000. 3000 inshallah. And the sister, you're not exempt up there. Anyone, $3,000 inshallah. Anyone. How many of you, my dear brother and sister, could do that for Sabilillah? $1,000. And I'm sure a lot of you could do that. $1,000. $1,000. Inshallah. Allahu Akbar takbir. The brother right there, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and reward you and protect you. We have to black a jannah. 
Do not be a spectator, my dear brother and sister. Be a doer. Be a doer. Do something in these needs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send you here today to pray in his house of Allah. And the house of Allah is asking you for donation. So can, do not look away, my dear brother and sister. Anyone, inshallah, for 1,000. I need a few brother and sister for 1,000, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa bihi nasta'i. Any brother or sister they want to pay the red bill to the electricity or any other bill, we can pay correct to them. Also, we are collecting property tax. We already have all the property tax. Please help us for the property tax also in this budget. So, my dear brother and sister, if you'd like to pay the electricity bill or the water bill, raise your hand and it's all yours. Can you imagine that the good deeds that you're going to receive, that every person is doing, would do, and you are the reason in having that water coming out of that faucet. So anyone, inshallah, for $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, inshallah. Do not be a spectator, be a doer. And if you already donated, donate on behalf of your mother, behalf of your father. We really need your help. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us fi surat al-Imran, وَسَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِّنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ وَجَنَّةٍ عَرْضُهَا السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضُ أُعِدَّتْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ من هم المتقين يا الله الذين ينفقون في السراء والضراء والقادمين الغير the one they spend in the way of Allah even if they hardly have any money how many of you can afford inshallah five hundred dollar five hundred dollar and also the sisters we need your continuous help and support five hundred dollar inshallah anyone that five hundred may Allah subhanahu wa taala bless you and reward you give it to the brother Allah may Allah God bless you brother so we anyone else inshallah before we close let me share with you from surah muhammad alayhi afdal wa aska salam and please pay attention it's very very important this surah is for you allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us here ha antum haula tud'awna latunfiqu fi sabilillah fa minkum man yabkhal wa man yabkhal fa innama yabkhal an nafsi wallahu al ghani wa antum al fuqara وَإِن تَتَوَلَّوْا يَسْتَبِدُلُ قَوْمًا غَيْرَكُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَكُونُ أَمْسَالَكُمْ What does this mean? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, here you are. You have been invited, invited to spend it in the way of Allah. Among you will hold out of greed. And whoever holds out of greed is really harming himself. And Allah is the rich and we are the poor. And Allah is capable to change us with another ummah. They will not be like us. So do not be a spectator, be a doer. The mission, who else we can go to, my dear brother and sister? Allahu Akbar, takbir, thank you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless her and reward her and protect her. We have a sister here, she's donating 300. So the sisters are donating as well. So the brothers also, we need your, your hand up. How many of you can afford to match that sister for $300? I want someone to match the sister for $300, insha'Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa bihi nasta'in. Allahumma aftah qulubakum. Allahumma open your heart to do the good deeds, insha'Allah. Anyone for $300. My dear brother and sister, remember, this, this invitation to spin fi sabilillah is not for a masjid next door. It's for your masjid. How much? Allahu Akbar takbir. It's the father, he donated 5,000. And he told his son to raise his hand for another 300. MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes? Another 300. And his other son in the other side, also 300. May, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, brother, and your, and your children. And we have to bless a Jannah. Allahumma ameen. He's the one, he opened that fundraising for 5,000. So breathe, my dear brother and sister. I like to have some brother and sister to match these the two children of his 300 inshallah do not wallahi wallahi if you spend it fi sabilillah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will return it to you directly or indirectly allahu akbar takbir may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and reward you and protect you we like to black a jannah allahumma ameen another brother for 300 inshallah 300 inshallah yeah, inshallah how much we have the Shahada, sister. Oh, Shahada. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Look at 
my dear brother and sister, we have a sister, she wants to come to Islam. She wants to say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. And she came where? To the house of Allah. So when you participate, you are inviting these brothers and sisters to come to Islam. Anyone, inshallah, before we do the shahada here, $300, I'm looking for $300. Brothers or sisters? Anyone, $300. How many of you can afford $200? And we will take it on two payment, inshallah. Two payment, inshallah. Anyone? Anyone, inshallah? My dear brother and sister, okay, how many of you can afford $100? $100 for Sabinillah. Before we, this sister, to accept the shahada, and you're going to be witness it in the, law, in the house of Allah. I'm talking about $100. 500, Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and reward you and protect you. I'm asking for 100 and the brother, he raised his hand and no, I'm going to give 500 instead of 100. So come on, be among those generous brother. When you are generous to your masjid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be generous also for you in Yawm al -Hisab. And I wanted to remind each one of you, Wallahi, Wallahi, and you know it, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to judge us by a scale. The good deeds are going to be in one side and the bad deed in the other side. If your good deeds weigh more, he's going to overlook your bad deed. So who else is your Allah? Who else is your Allah before I say Assalamu Alaikum and we will have the sister do the Shahada. How much? 500. Allahu Akbar Takbir. Allahu Akbar Takbir. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and reward you and protect you, sister. We act to Blaki al Jannah. Say Amin for the sister. I'm asking for 100, and the sister, she gave me a five. She said, No, $500. So come on, do not be a spectator, be a doer. Whatever you put, Wallah is coming back to you directly or indirectly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised us in the Holy Quran. He promised to us, and Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never go back on his word. Anyone before I say salamu alaikum, it's your chance, my dear brother and sister. Your chance, and it could be the only chance, because we do not know if we're gonna make it home. Anyone, inshallah, before I say salamu alaikum, who could take the last dua before, and I'm gonna do a massive dua, inshallah, for that brother or the sister. I need last donation, and I'm gonna do a massive dua. Anyone? Yeah, give it to him. What we have? Okay. Anyone before I say salam alaikum? Dua? Any dua? I will do for you. And how much? I'm sorry? $200? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and reward you and protect you. We have to bless a jannah and put you ma siddiqina salihin. Allahumma ameen. Now, the sister, are you ready? We have a sister up there. And then she decided to, to be, can, can, we, can you tell us when did you decide to become Muslim? Uh, you know what, since I was 14. Since you were 14? Yeah. And how old are you now? I'm 44 now. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. And uh, no one pushes you to do it, you are on your own. Uh -huh. I think for some reason, this time around, it just happened. And it all makes sense. 